Hi everybody, it's me Kim from the Hypertufa Gardener and today I have some results about moving or transplanting perennials. I broke the rules and I won. The rules tell you you're just supposed to transplant in the spring or in the fall, but I broke those rules and now I have my results from the plants that I did. We sold our home and I had to move them in February, dig them up out of the frozen ground and it worked because my plants lived and they produced blossoms. So my advice, try and break the rules. What have you got to lose? It's November 2nd and I'm out here trying to get up random weeds and straightening up a little bit. And I do notice that my flower, my special November flower is just about to bloom. Look how nice that looks. It's about maybe a 12 inch around, 12 inch high and at the highest point. And this is called a bottle gentian. You can see where the foliage is starting to turn just a little bit, but the, the uh, gentian is just about to open. Now, sometimes mine opens just to a long, almost tulip-shaped flower. Other times, it will open just a little bit on the end. But I just love this flower. It blooms late, and it'll even bloom in the snow. I've many times filmed it, and I may be able to find one of my photographs with it blooming in the snow but it's just at the edge of the deck and near some of my hypertufa pots and bloom flower that's just about done for the year. But I really think this is a pretty flower. It's a real intense blue. I'll keep up with it as it gradually opens a little bit more, but budding on November 2nd here in Ohio. Now let's move around to the front garden. A few birds there up on the roof line as you can see. But I've shown you the front garden before in all my fall decorations. But let's catch up on one that I bought and planted here this year. A little blushing turtle still has a few blooms on it. You can see them kind of hidden behind the tubs here but they look really good now that donkey tail will freeze out here in the weather but I've got a lot of donkey tail and I'll just let nature take its course Now I've got my skulls here lined up on the front porch under the overhang to dry out before I put them away. But let's move on to the hostas. My hostas, the prize hosta that I brought over, was this one right here. It has grown very well this past year in its new location. Here's a quick picture of it budding after I planted at the new house and then later on in the year blooming. Really was beautiful. There were several other hostas here, the ones with the white rim, but I am so glad that I dug that up last March and brought it with me. It gets a little bit of filtered light here. It's under a little maple tree but it has performed very well this year. So glad I didn't abandon it. Now let's move on to my grandson's favorite place to play. That's in my boulder garden on the hillside. I have a lot of sedum in there, but also the hellebore that I dug up just before it was gonna start blooming. It continued to bloom in a little uh, pot until I got it planted over here. I've got a few little varmint holes in the ground, along with a lot of car crash sites. My grandson loves to play on this hillside. He digs around in the dirt. I'm glad that sedum 
are very forgiving when you play around and mess in them and dig in them or I wouldn't have any plants. I've got a lot of weeds there that I want to pull and get rid of before the end of the season but I will be taking care of that. But this hellebore has done very very well. Apparently I pulled a little bit of uh, carpet bugle to come with me but I don't mind because I really like that carpet bugle. But you can see his little cars sitting all over. He has a regular little neighborhood and quote unquote narrates his own little videos uh, as if he's filming something for YouTube. I think he hears Nana doing that so and all the ones that he watches and listens to. But he has regular roads, highways, rest areas, everything that you can think of but it's cute and I don't mind. So really if you are needing to move some perennials and you don't mind taking the chance on losing them, I would say just go ahead and dig. I dug some in February so I could line them all up in pots and baskets and some of them are herbaceous and died down in the winter. I just dug up around where I thought they were in the case of my hosta and the gentian, I couldn't really see, just knew about where they were, so I just dug a big round scoop. But the hellebore, I could see, and so that was fairly easy to dig. So go for it if you want to. If you have to move something at the wrong time of the year, break the rules. But thanks for joining me today, and let's look forward to that uh, winter snow flying. Stick around and watch a few more videos and please give me a comment, a like, or subscribe.